Hi guys and welcome to a relatively unusual uh, video but tonight I had started to mess around with uh, Spectrum emulators and uh, things like that and I remembered that well I thought basically I would like to make a little Spectrum game and then I realized uh, there was this program called Herg when I was a kid that you could make games on so I thought oh I could do that for the evening but then I realized that Herg actually requires Herg to um, load the games itself so it doesn't really feel right if you've got to load Herg first and then load them from there so I uh, just started tinkering and it's not it's very simple stuff but I made my own uh, tap file which is the Spectrum tape file and uh, managed to get some images in and stuff and it actually loads uh, should load on a real Spectrum because it's only 41.3k of course it has to be 48k or less for the 48k Spectrum but yeah I mean it works so I'm just going to show you it working and I'm going to enjoy the sounds for, for the millionth time tonight but here we go and I'm going to do it manually, I've got no auto load or anything so reboot the spectrum and then now put the tape in which means I just drag this funky spect funky spectrum dot tap into there and this is actually a little uh, tap file I made for uh, the Funky Spectrum channel because I've been enjoying it and laughing uh, uh, about the videos a lot so I thought I'll make a little surprise for them. Um, so now the tape is actually loaded what I want to do in the old Spectrum style is uh, type load dot dot so that's J and then shift and the, uh, and the, the speech mark key or the act key Key. Oh, it, earlier it worked. What? That's weird. I had to press loads of keys to get it working, mind you. This is my. This is the hardest bit of the evening. Is trying to get the. Uh... Oh, they did work. I just rebooted it. All right. I'm going to pause this until I find them. Wow, that took some time. The answer was to swap my keyboard to American for some reason. On English, I couldn't do it. If you check the minutes, that will be probably about 10 minutes just to work that out. Anyway, so I've typed load dot dot. The uh, disc, the tape is in the cassette player. Feels like 1985. Press enter. Nothing happens because you've got to hit play on the cassette. So I hit this little player here. There we go. Funky spec. See, that brings back memories. I could sit and listen to this all night. I love it. And I can do a tutorial on this if anyone is uh, interested. It's not hard.
takes a while to load this one. At least the tape isn't going to corrupt on us and crash after all this waiting. And technically you can load this just from the sand, so if this was clear enough, you could distribute Spectrum games on YouTube. Or on Napster even. iTunes as MP3s. Or over the radio, or TV as they used to do. Really quite enjoyable trying to get the pictures to look good and monitor the size and keep it under 48k and see what you can force into the memory. Very much like working on J2ME really, which I did for 10 years. I was very impressed by the, what you can, the bytes you can put in and you can see that there, each, what you, each image is uh, worth in bytes. Of course, making a game is a different story, something like Back to School, I tried that on the Amiga and I still couldn't do it. You can find that on YouTube if you look it up, it's called School's Out. It's supposed to be a two-player recreation of uh, Back to School, but much better, like an intended sort of spiritual sequel. Didn't get finished, but it's on YouTube as well. That is the end of the demo. If anyone wants a tutorial on that, um, you know, just drop a line in the comments. I was going to do it, but I wasn't sure if anyone would be interested. Okay, bye.